This video is going to demonstrate the most common method for computing and using interaction terms in multiple regression. We need to create interaction terms that are centered in some way for their inclusion in multiple regression in order to avoid the problem of multicollinearity which occurs when we don't center our interaction terms but include them within the multiple regression. To create interaction terms what we are doing first of all is we are going to if the variables are dichotomous all we need to do is just simply multiply them. So we are going to create first of all an interaction between gender and race both are dichotomous to do that, we're going to transform, compute variables. We're going to call it gender race. And it is going to be a product of gender times race. And you click OK. And it will have created those new variables you'll see that we have a significant number of zeros and the only time that we end up with a value of one is when both gender and race have been categorized as one. That's not a problem for us because when we run the multiple regression we will include gender and race as well as the interaction term so the interaction term will be defined in some way by the two prior variables that have entered that equation. After we have computed the interaction term for our dichotomous variables, we're now going to create an interaction term between reading and math. The multiple regression that we're going to be generating will try to, be, try to predict mosaic scores from reading scores, math scores, gender, race, the interaction between gender and race, and the interaction between reading and math. So we have to create an interaction between reading and math and to do that we have to center both of our reading variable and our math variable. So to do that we are going to aggregate. So you're going to send reading over to aggregated variables and you're going to send math over there and it will create this average term. Now you could have computed, you could have run descriptives and found the mean for reading and the mean for math and then placed all those values in there, but by using the aggregate command it will automatically create those variables. So you just send reading and math over to aggregated variables and click OK. And we'll see that the means have been created there. Now we have to create a deviation score for each one of our scores for reading and each one of our scores for math. So to do that, we are going to compute a new variable. And it's going to be, so for the first one, it's going to be the, the deviation for reading. So it's going to be the reading mean minus the scaled reading score. And then we click OK. And we see that the deviations have been posted here. We're now going to do the same thing for math. We're going to call it deviation math. And that is going to be the mean of our math scores minus each individual mean, each individual score for math. Click OK. And again, we will have a deviation score generated. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a product of these two deviations, um, these two deviation scores. Again, to do that, we're going to go to data, we're going to compute another variable. Sorry, go to transform and compute a new variable. And this is going to be our, our reading math deviation product. 
call it whatever you want to call it. And it's essentially going to be our deviation in reading score times our deviation in math score. <coughs> Excuse me. We now have our our product term here. That's our interaction term. And we have, now have all of the variables that we need in order to run this multiple regression. So we're going to go to Analyze, Regression, Linear, and we're going to predict mosaic scores or explain mosaic scores by using our deviation in reading, our deviation in math, our gender, and our race. And we're going to put those in the first block because what we're interested in is trying to figure out whether there is a unique effect of those interactions or how much unique effect the interactions have after our main effects have been entered. So we're going to go to the next level now. And here we're going to enter our interaction terms. So we're going to enter our gender race interaction and our reading math product interaction. We would you know, we really want to make sure that all of the appropriate statistics are included in this analysis. So for us, we really want, we're interested in that R-squared change, collinearity diagnostics. You might want descriptives or partial correlations and certainly the case-wise diagnostics. And we would also want to make sure that we run the appropriate plots to identify violations of any assumptions. We're going to skip that for these purposes and we're just going to click OK. This will call up our output, and we're going to look down at the two steps of our model. And what we'll see is we have all of our main effects entered, and then we have our main effects with our interaction effects entered here. We can look at the significance levels, and we can see that there was actually a significant interaction effect between reading and math scores here. So we would need to explore that. In order to understand the issue of the change in the R-square, what we see here is that we started by explaining roughly 17.1% of the variance using just the main effects. And when we added the interaction effects, we are now up to 19.9% that is an increase of about 2.9 percent and that interaction increase was considered statistically significant. That's what that change tells us. So at that point we would go and we would focus our interpretation on these various statistical um, the st the statistical results here in order to understand what the problem was. You'll notice that we don't have any problem with variance inflation or collinearity because we have um, conducted an appropriate modification by using the centered terms. Thank you.